What's up, GG Nation? GG Legion. Welcome back to another episode of Anime Time. I'm your host and moderator, Straussman the GG. Your fella, back in his glory. And of course, I got Chad back on Anime Time. Welcome back, Chad, to Anime Time. Thank you very much, Levi, for having me here. Episode 3, we're going to talk about what we see in the background here. It might be hard to see. See in the background here, the camera's over there. <laughs> My bad. Uh, is Zoids. We're going to talk a little bit about both series we saw, and maybe a little bit of Fusers. I don't think you ever saw Fusers, so I don't know. I don't know if we'll talk about that at all. So so let's let's dive right into what Zoids is. Zoids is a ja- it's like the Japanese version of uh, Hasbro, basically in the sense of Transformers. Like, it's the Japanese Transformers. Like, they literally... It was toys. It's a toy company. It's a, it's a huge toy company that they made into a show that was popular for a little bit. There's a lot more Japanese games than English games. Uh, this seems to be the best one we got. Was But this is very rare. This is probably like a $200 game. Uh, and I bought it for 8 bucks. So it's pretty good. Said like, company. Yeah, <laughs> from said company, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Nice plug there. Yeah, really good. Yeah. So Mom let's talk about... Today. What you recently just watched a few episodes about was Chaotic Century. No, I'm not talking about Chaotic Century. I've already told you that. What Chaotic Century is is a more serious show. Like it was a very serious show. They actually there tried was to a, make it a show. There was a huge arc. It's actually a pretty good show. What I prefer though is what Chad prefers as well, and what this game's really based about. Which you even know it has the characters from, you know, Chaotic Century. Chaotic Century. It's it's a really good show. Like it's it's a it's a deeper understanding of not Zoids itself, but it has deeper characters yeah. and a deeper arc, a little bit of romance, yeah, a little bit try, of they try to they Zoids try kind to of evolve out. a little bit, which is kind of weird. Exactly, like, they're kind of a little bit of weird in this, but um, the the characters were really good in the sense if you ever got to it, I know uh, you never got I'm, to it. The I'm, I'm gonna good. attempt to watch it. I watched. I literally watched like the first ten minutes of episode one, and then I tried to watch episode two, and then it was it. It, starts it just out a wasn't slow. going with me because it wasn't the Zoids I remembered. Yes, it's so it's I was not. just like kind of lost, and then I just found New Century, and I was just like, "Boom, yes, Zoids!" Most people will get confused because they actually played the second series first on Toonami, and yeah. then they played well, Chaotic uh, Century. Like I said, that's how I knew it. Because yeah. I, <laughs> I don't remember anything about Chaotic Century. Because so they I don't did play Chaotic Century it. on Toonami. They yeah, did. So but they played it after, it. you know, uh, New Genesis. Not New Genesis, I'm sorry. Uh, New Century. New Century, which is the one we're all familiar with. Yeah. I remember watching it in middle school. And what New Century is, is about Big Cloud, a guy who's a salvager, a junker, and he finds this Zoid that no one could use yeah. that works, obviously, with him. So he is a special coolest, person. Yeah, Coolest like, thing in the world, man. And it's Liger Zero, which you see on the cover right here. And the special part about Liger Zero... He can actually transform into different versions yeah, of put, himself. Yeah, you can put different armors yeah, you on. Can and, put different armors and then on. in the show, it was a little weird because like, Liger Zero kind of had its own life. Yeah, personality. Like, yeah, like he... he he was actually like a living being to to degree. That's why he refused to work for anybody until yeah. he found a partner that he wanted to work with. It just happened to so be Bit, and it happened to be Bit. But Bit joins this team. Uh, I think, is it the Blitz? daughter father team? Isn't the Blitz, the Blitz team, team or whatever? And the the father son he decides to leave for a little bit yeah. because he uh, needs to find himself a little bit. Mm-hmm. And Bit seems to be a better part of the team right is, now. Is is he the one that's from Chaotic Century? No, no, no. It's, this is a completely new series. I, th- I thought you said there were some characters that... Well, in the game. I'm sorry, oh, in the game. In, in the game, in, in the game there's My some bad. characters that are in there, yeah. Because uh, they kind of combined everything in the game. They added a whole bunch of toys in the game. But no, no, this is a completely new series. And uh, Lena, Lena's father, and I forgot the brother's name, but the brother leaves for a little while. And, you know, Bit joins the... The ragtag team, you know, and everything like that. So they they're a pretty crappy team by standards yeah. and ranks and stuff yeah. like that. The low rank, because this whole the whole show of New Century at least is about them trying to climb up the ranks. Yes, and it's almost like a tournament style. They're trying to get to the end. They're being sabotaged along the way. They're running into yeah. There's like you know, a darker dark yeah. judges and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, those things are so funny because there is like it is a judgment system. Like they send a judge yeah. down. He's like, we won. Hello, yeah, there's, there's, one. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna like, we're gonna shoot you. 
there there's a judgment That's system funny. in the the show and everything like that. So there is rankings for winning tournaments and stuff like that. Obviously, they start out with crappier zoids and get better zoids. You know, going on yeah. like like Brad, he starts out with a uh, just a typical wolf, mm-hmm. the wolf like sniping one, and then he be- then he gets a shadow fox yeah. later on, which is very much kind of like. It was just how Liger like, Zero, but yeah, a better version. Saying, like how he finds all of his Liger yeah. skins, like the Jaeger. And yeah, like it's really cool. One. Even you know, even the guy with the flying Zoid, he gets a, the Raptor one that could fly, but he has it's like ridiculous. a different personality when he flies, which is, is which is really strange. Uh, you I was know. Watching, yeah, but on the earlier I was watching actually the War Sharks episode, <laughs> which is so funny. It is so it. good. The show is really good. I mean, there's a really interesting dynamic with all the characters and everything like that isn't it the most story driven no it's, show? A, it's an action show it's it's it's, 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 it's about guns and explosions and shit like that it's action it's, it's oh, i broke it i broke it i said the curse right away yeah you did i'm a jerk levi's well, got a streak going just you know, just to point it every out. video even in my diablo video i was like I'm dude, holding, dude holding strong yep but no but yeah there is like a you, you know like a, a deep dynamic to the sense of characters. Yeah. Like, you know, they all have unique personalities. There's this, there's this rich guy that wants to marry, you know, Leia mm-hmm. or Le- Lena. And, you know, the father's all about it because of the yeah, money. Of course. Yeah. But, but I like how they, I like how they don't like try to force a story upon it. They don't. They just kind of have just kind of let it go and let it be what it is. It's almost like you don't even have to really watch every episode. You can just watch a few episodes and okay. get what's going on. Yeah, Immediately sure. you will understand. You'd want to watch all the fights though because that's pretty much yeah, that's like, the coolest part of watching the You know, the show. The, the show leads up to Berserker Fury and Liger Zero Showdown and stuff like that. We won't spoil that but it's a really cool fight and an interesting fight. Yeah, it is. Speak of the devil right here. Right. Boom. And he's just the OP machine by the way that's running on a gamecube yeah this is all gamecube stuff yeah by the way i got my gamecube to fire up and we're 10 memory blocks we thought we were, we thought we we're gonna have a funeral day for his gamecube but we're not it's working we're good sorry i mean he's 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 running on old tires there he really is I <laughs> you named need... him zordon that's funny no i didn't name him zordon <laughs> he's but just having a call i mean he's running on old tires like old tires there but so, you know, you know, it's it's a really interesting. Like it, it got really big because of New Century. Yeah. Then they played Chaotic Century, which was popular enough, more story driven. Then well, Fusers kind of, and then we well, never yeah. got Genesis. Ge- Genesis is only Japanese dub. That kind of reminds me of like how Yu Gi Oh did their things and how Yu Gi Oh. Yu Gi Oh still kind of going on. Well, though. I know, like, but it, like how it was weird. classic, and then it went to like GX. Yeah. It was, it just, it's Academy. You just start throwing letters behind the. The, behind the title. Then the well, Dragon whole one, new 5Ds or something, and then they kind of combined them all I together. Like, I don't know. It's weird. It's craziness. Well, Zoids is very much one of my favorite uh, fun shows yeah, to watch. Looking, it's not like in my yeah. top five or anything. It's I was just a say, fun show. If you're looking for something casual, yeah. it, it's something that you could rewatch and not, you know, there's not a lot of, not a lot of stakes in it. You just kind of like put it on, let it ride, watch a few episodes, you're gonna yeah, have it's just fun a fun, good time. It's a fun, really, you know, fun anime to yeah. especially if you to like watch like giant robot bit, machines. Yeah, like Bit Cloud is such a robot funny character. It, it is a bunch of giant robots, though. I mean, right. they are really cool design looking. Most are based off animals oh, and you know, oh, elephants, tigers, saber fang right behind us. Sharks, sharks, like they have a whole bunch Raptors, of weird. Dinosaurs. Yeah, they got oh. a whole bunch of weird looking zoids and. Uh, there's some special ones like Liger Zero and if you know Berserker Fury, a few other ones mm-hmm. that are kind of like alive, per yeah. se. Special, um, special, you know, type zoids. But it's really a fun, loving show. I mean, like you said, there's not not too much, you know, stakes behind no, there the really show. There really isn't. There really, because but even, it's fun. You cheer for the team. You want them course, to rank up and you know it, succeed. And you, even while watching it, like as the Shadow Shadow Fox. Ended up being my favorite one. That was a really cool um, Zoid. Really interesting Zoid. You know, you 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 get attached to a specific creature or whatever or robot, and then you know you kind of go from there. It runs, you know, and r- run run what, it along. <laughs> you know, like the one thing we had to say is like the tournaments aren't cheap. Like they no. got to pay a lot of money to yeah. get into it. You know, these characters are kind of poor since you know bits of salvager. He's just trying to like he didn't even want to be part of this, yeah. and he ends up being part of something bigger. 
It's what happens uh, when you randomly stumble upon a Liger. Yeah, Liger Zero that responds to you, which is really interesting. It's a fun show. Um, like, well, what was your favorite character? Like, was Bit your favorite one? Brad? Uh, Brad was the well, coolest one, I would say. Yeah, it would probably be Bit. Bit, yeah. Just because of... I, I liked how cocky he was all the time. He I like, was so sure of himself. I in like Lena. situations. The most. She's a good character. <laughs> Of course, you, of course. <laughs> Why do you, well, never mind, never mind. We don't even need to talk about it. Everybody, uh, if you've watched any episode of you know, any, that back. Any, one of his, any one of his shows, you know exactly why you said that. Yeah, but she's not blonde. Doesn't matter. But yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah. Cha-ching. Yeah, but, no, she, I liked her dynamic with Harry. Like, Harry really wanted to marry yeah. her, and he was just, she was like, nah. Then she, like, took Bit on a date, like, trying to make sure. Bit, trying to make Bit, like, her, like, oh, this is my man, and they end up having that fight. <laughs> they end up having that big battle for her. <laughs> it was just really funny. Like, that was good. That was a really good episode. That was a funny episode. Um, I think Brad's really cool. He's kind of the loner, the lone wolf. He's like, I'm just here because I'm a mercenary, exactly. but he ends up getting a bigger personality, and you find his past and stuff. As much as... There isn't many deep cuts. The characters do kind of have some deep cuts into them, but you yeah. gotta watch quite a few episodes. Well, you, well, you gotta, yeah. you, you know, you gotta. It's much later in the series. You gotta it's make them first. likable in some way. Yeah, you, you for can't sure. just have a cool Zoid. And, oh yeah, that's that, that's my favorite character. Yeah, which was kind of the problem with like Fusers, which was like an interesting idea, but the characters just weren't as good as oh, yeah. New Century. Like the New Century characters were really good, like. This is the reason why we got, like, Zoid's video games and we got Zoid models. I don't have, like, I think they're in my shed. Oh, right. But I have my Saber Fang and I have a That'd Shield cool. Liger or you a Blade Liger. those in a case on a bookshelf. Not anymore. They're, I need to get... I if you had room for bookshelves. If I had any room at all in my room. Uh, but New Angle, you know, New Angle today as well. This one's kind of a shorter episode. We're going to talk about, you know, something really fun that might be a little bit longer in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. Anything else you need to say for anime time? Anything else you want to put on? Um, yeah, you know, do you recommend it? Do you anything like that? Watch Zoids, for sure. Yeah. If you have new, century. Time, new, watch yeah, new Century. Watch New Century. Yeah, if, if you have any kind of time, watch If you it. want more story stuff, it's go It's not very it. long. You'll yeah. enjoy it. Definitely, if you like uh, action, fast paced. I don't There's know no where you could time. find it though. I don't think it's on Hulu. It probably is on Crunchyroll, maybe. Uh, no, it's not actually. You'll have uh, to go. I know. off the grid. Maybe, yeah. Unfortunately, like, you will have to go off the grid to probably to watch this. It's I, not a Funimation it's show. Not on so. the, it's not. As far as I know, it's not on Crunchyroll. We I, don't have any DVD or Blu-ray copies of Zoid, so hopefully someday no. someone saves it and puts it on Blu-ray. I would love to. Maybe, see I'll, maybe I'll look around and see if I can find one. Yeah, I just I just know for a fact Funimation saved like 100 plus shows, and I don't think it was. So I, don't think well, no, so. I don't think that was one of them. I don't think Zoid's was one of them, which kind of makes me sad a little bit. Well, it's kind of like a, one of the... this. Zoids is like another show that I want to Levi to watch called Majin Bone. Yeah. Zoids is based off of toys. Majin Bone is actually an arcade game. Yeah. And that it's very it it's show. very similar. But they made it into a show and they're they're real fun for what they actually are. Yeah. It's, it's, the it's amazing. Fun. The it's amazing fun. that you can make a whole T V show just out of you know it's randomly same, out of a couple of It's toys. the same thing with America and Hasbro. When they made Transformers, the the T V show yeah. as kid like as well, our fathers were kids, I should say. Well, it ended up taking off and being great. I'm what I meant by that is like it was a little. It's a little surprising to see that, you know, in, in early '90s, late '80s, some of these toys become big enough to become TV shows. But mobile games are doing it now. Yes, mobile games are becoming animes like every other week. It's yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah. It's 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 an interesting time that we uh, live in now, which Mo- is cool. Mobile Strike is on. There's a bunch of weird ones. There's a bunch of bunch of interesting ones. Uh, Monster Hunter has an anime now. It's there's a bunch of weird. Yeah, animes. like Monster Hunter. Actually, Monster Hunter has got really big here. But this episode of Anime Time. Thank you so much, guys. You know, this is Strauss Man the GG with Chad. Make sure you leave your comments. Episode three. Tell us what you're watching. Tell us down below if you want us to talk about any of your favorites. Uh, I think you're going to really like the next one we talk about, though. A lot of people have watched this one. We are going to get a, a season two eventually uh, of it. Should be. This year, I hope, or next year. Sh- no, it should be September. And September they're just, or October. And we'll give you a little hint. There's just a game announcement that just got announced. So, so he spoiled it for you. If you know anything about it, he spoiled it. 
if you guys watch the channel for video games, like most of you probably do. But thank you so much. We're out. Have a good day.